All this time while I was trusting Nell and letting myself get closer to Sonny, you knew? You should have told me, Jason. Sonny asked me not to. I'm your best friend. I know you are. You always will be. But it wasn't my place to say anything. It was Sonny's. You know that. I know that. Okay. Okay, but I don't care. I don't care because you're always supposed to have my back, even against Sonny. I always have your back. I always will have your back. Come on, listen to me. Just for a minute. <sighs> what I want you to realize, whether you're mad at me or not, what matters is you and Sonny lost Morgan. You're grieving your child and you need each other, and I couldn't be the person to destroy that. All the pain you've been going through, everything you've been holding back. Yes, it's been painful. It's been unbearable. I imagine it has, but Sonny's in that same pain. Look, like there was a time you were both spinning out of control, and I'm, I'm not saying what he did with Nell is, is an easy thing to get past, but it wasn't an affair. He was alone, he was sad, he was drunk, he was grieving, and he made a mistake, a big mistake. One that he kept from me for months. Yeah, he kept Jason. it from you because he's messed up. He was grieving, just like you. He's in pain, just like you. But now, your son's killer is behind bars. You finally have a chance to heal. You could be there for each other. Isn't that what's important? Right. Well, honey, you might have noticed that your aunt Carly is a little bit intense. <laughs> but I tell you what, she's been a very, very good friend to your dad, and she will be an amazing aunt to you. Her instincts are usually spot on. I mean, she got this right. You are perfect. You are perfect. And I know that uh, your entry to this world was a little rough. But I promise you this. Your dad's not going to let anything happen to this family. And nothing can get in the way of my love for you. Julia.